Hey everyone. All right, so I'm gonna just show you my ingredients that I'm gonna use. Some of them that's right here. I'm gonna use a chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. These are my peppers that I'll be using. I ain't All right, so these are the four peppers that I'll be using. I'll be using possibly a little uh, chicken, bouillon, bay leaf. I know I'm definitely gonna use a beef bouillon, a little beef broth, Mexican oregano, so here I have my water boiling with my peppers that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to let this boil. Once it boils, I'm going to then turn the heat off and let it steep with the lid on for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead on and just season my meat up a little bit. I'm gonna use some garlic powder. And after I season this meat up with a little seasoning, I then will go ahead on and brown it on top of the stove. That was some onion powder. And I'm going to take some garlic salt, just a little bit. Oh, nothing else to come in. Let me put a little seasoning salt on it. Transfer this meat into a pan with some hot oil in it. Just a little bit just to brown it on both sides. So you probably could do about a minute on each side at the most. Something like that. what Miss Fast forgot to do. I forgot to de, um, de-seed it and do all that first. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Um, anyway, so now these peppers are super hot. So now I have to open them up and take the seeds out. So once I do that, I'll be back.
one cup of water so peppers in one cup of water into this bullet and I'm gonna add this one chipotle pepper and adobo seasoning so I'm gonna blend it up and come back <laughs> All right, y'all. So you see in the pot, or in the pot pot, we have our onions and our meat. So now, last I showed you guys was this chili sauce. Let's see if we blended it up really good. Y'all, look at that. Let me see if I should do more round, one more round. But I think it looks pretty good. It smells good, so, all right. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I wanna see my seasonings that I'm putting in here. So let's go ahead and start. Put some black pepper in there. Some more onion powder, even though we have onions in there. It's just a staple for me. I'm gonna use some, comp let me back up so y'all can see a little bit. I'm gonna use some complete seasoning. Just a little bit. They said use some um, cinnamon, so I'm just put a little, a little shake in there. I'm gonna use some white pepper. I don't know, I'm just gonna add it in there a little bit. Add a little chili powder. Add a little cayenne pepper. Gonna add some thyme. And I'm of course going to I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit of that. And I'm actually gonna add some minced garlic as well. I'm gonna add um I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic. So, add that in there. So now, we have our Mexican oregano. We just sprinkle some in there. All right, that should be enough. So I'm gonna let you see a little bit more inside. So those are my seasonings so far. I'm gonna add a beef bouillon cube. I know the recipe that I'm gonna link below. This is where I got my seasonings and all of this from. So I pretty much followed her recipe all the way. Except for the, I didn't have cloves. And what else? Just add this in here. Just add it in there like this. Because she had the powder version, but I don't have that one right now, so I have to use what we have. And then, okay. So that was one of those. And then, some smoked paprika. I'm gonna do like a teaspoon. No, I'm gonna do this a half teaspoon right there. I'm gonna do one more. So that was one hole. One hole. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead on and add in our concoction that we have blended up. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm one. We want all of our droppings out. So, go ahead on and add it in there. Scrape it all out.
right, so now this last step, I think she just used, I don't know if she used this or not, but I'm going to add a little bit into mine because that's what I do. I'm adding in a good heaping of brown sugar. This is, what is that, one teaspoon of brown sugar in there. So that's in there. And then we have our bay leaf and then our beef broth. And then we pretty much gonna be ready to roll, y'all. So y'all saw that I cut my chicken and not my chicken, my meat in half so it can fit in my pan all the way. So if you was wondering why I did that, that's why she added two bay leaves. So there we go. To that, so we're gonna give our broth a little shaky shake. And if you wanna get the rest of that out, pour a little broth in here. Cause actually, Have a look. Beef. Try to open it all the way up. Add a little bit in there. This is what we're looking like. Um, make sure everything is saturated. So yeah, we're gonna clean our edges up around and we are ready to cook. We're gonna let this cook about six hours or so until it's done and tender. I'm of course gonna come in and check on it. Maybe in about two hours, I'll come and check on it. This is on high. This is on high. So, I'm gonna come back later to add whatever salt I may need to it later because I really don't put that much salt in it, but I'd rather do my salt at the end towards the end so I can adjust it. Pretty much, it should be some salt in there already because I did use the seasoning salt earlier and it's beef bouillon. So we'll add a little salt later. Mm 